How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of mystery beers, courtesy of boy Nick from Texas. Yeah, he uh, he tossed me off a couple different mystery beers, and this be the B, the B version of the mystery beers. Yeah. Um, there's no rhyme or reason in the D. There was a rhyme or reason at the beginning, but now there's not. So there you go. Story. It's awesome. Anyway, um, yeah. Mystery beers, if you don't know what they are, that's weird. Uh, but people send out uh, beer tubers beer, and we drink them, we talk about them, we guess them. Sometimes the actual beer we try to, or mainly just style and form and substance and all that kind of stuff, and, and then we unwrap it and see how wrong we are. Uh, Label-wise is classic paper towel with the cryptic B on it, which never hurts. Um, what does that look like? It could be two different things, actually three different things. Mixed culture, which you highly doubt because it's in a can. Um, it could be uh, like a Berliner, uh, Goza style beer, or my bet is on a sub 7% hazy. Yeah. So it has that rich orange glow to it. Beautiful creamy head. Index finger worth just off white. And that soft little kind of almost lemonade like kind of brightness to it. It's got a nose. Hmm, I don't know. It's very citrus forward, but I believe that citrus is coming from something other than hops. Um, it's it's bright. It's it's almost like a Brett C combined with even other kind of yeast, so like a mixed culture kind of beer is how it's coming off. But I think it's really going to be telltale in the taste, and I think it is just going to lean into a smaller version of a pale ale. And that's really it. I mean, it's this slightly peppery, slightly spicy. And when I say peppery, like um, hot peppery, um, kind of singeing of the nostrils, along with that big kind of uh, citrus component. Uh, very zesty, very skinny, very light, very summery-like. Yeah, it smells like summer. It's hot out. Let's do this. Okay. What is that? I'm trying not to overthink it. I want to be like, this is somebody's Belgian-style pale ale from the United States that hopped it up with a bunch of different kind of hops. It's somebody's pale ale, is what it is. It's an extra hopped pale ale. Man. I want to call this a hoppy season. Like a bee. There's, let's put it this way. This is somebody's pale ale. But they're not doing the typical, you know, uh, London 3 Conan route as far as yeast goes. They're using something outside of normal yeast. It's like a slightly Americanized version of a subtle um, Belgian-style yeast. I believe I'm getting those gobs of citrus, which is definitely there in the taste along with how big they were in the nose. I think you're getting that from a decent amount of hops. But I think there's a yeast at play here, too, that's actually bringing a little bit to the front. It can't. I doubt it's Brett because it just doesn't get as zippy and as um, and as um, funky as Brett C typically does. I think it's more just somebody's kind of soft, kind of um, proprietary kind of uh, house yeast, a la Allagash. Like when they do a lot of these kind of low ABV kind of pale ales. They're using their uh, house culture, and that tends to come off a little bit spicy, a little bit peppery, and definitely brings a little bit of citrus along with the game, and that's pretty much exactly where this one's kind of landing. Yeah, I think it's absolutely delicious. This is the stuff I want to drink during the summer. This is awesome. This is really good beer. Um, what is it? Mm, I want to go low on this one. How low do I want to go? I want to go 5.5% hazy pale ale with a proprietary yeast, not a, a classic, just generic kind of, like I said, like a Conan London 3 kind of thing going on. Done and done. Yeah. Let's see what the sucker has to offer. Is this going to slip right off? You going to be good to me? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Can I? No. I think it's taped somewhere. Oh, man. I thought this was going to come right off. Make my dreams come true. This is not going to be hard to actually get off. This is Jester King. It kind of makes sense, honestly. Um, this is their Hazy India Pale Ale. 6.7%. Okay, fair enough. Um, and it's called Rex Machina. Uh, Hazy IPA been packaged in Austin, Texas by Jester King Brewery. I'm 1 billion percent okay with what I said because it pretty much, I said it's kind of like a la Allagash when they do their hazies. I mean... If you're going to have uh, soulmates as far as breweries go, Jester King and Alagash are pretty much going to be in that same kind of um, uh, 
compartment. 6.7. Very, very sneaky beer, man. This thing drinks small. It's just one of those beers where I get on a soapbox about it. Oh, I wish it was more like five and a half because that's what it drinks like. But the way this citrus comes off in here, and this thing is shooting dandelions. I wonder if there's dandelions in this. Oh, it's a collab with Weldworks, too. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I really, I really, I really need to know. I really need to know what's in this beer. I will look it up. But what I'm guessing, because I've never had anything hazy from Jester King before. I'm sure they've made, oh, let me rephrase that. I've never had an hazy IPA. I've had a ton of hazy beers from Jester King because all their beers are pretty much hazy. Um, but I've never had a hazy IPA from these guys. This is my first foray. I'm sure they've done it before. Um, my guess is that Weldworks is handling the hazy hoppy portion of the show and they brought their yeast to the table. That's my guess. That's my guess on this one. And it came out beautifully. I mean, this is honestly one of the better, let's cut to that chase. This is one of the better IPAs I've had before. Uh, hazy IPAs. Absolutely. Without a doubt. This is exactly what I like to drink. It's impactful enough for you to get all excited about, but it's also drinkable enough to get in a lot of trouble, to be perfectly honest with you. Because when you're talking 6.7%. This drinks more like five. I wake up at a dumpster when I drink this all night long. I go, ah, I'm a Jester King. I'm just going to drink this all night. Assuming it's sub 5%. Then, yeah, I wake up a wake up at a dumpster in San Antonio or some shit. I don't know. But, yeah, absolutely delicious. Um, value and availability, don't know. Um, you know what I mean? Texas peeps. Yeah, let me know what's what when it comes to this beer and leave you with if you like what we like this. Um, if, you like, if you like hazies. I mean, if you like hazies and you don't like this i don't you probably don't like anything but hazies let's put it that way it's kind of like one of those things where so many people are into kind of just like hazy ipa and that's all they're into you might like this you might not but if you definitely like this you probably like more than just hazy ipa let's put it that way so there we go another uh mystery beer in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it. i did thank you for very much for sending it off dude um Matt, mystery beers the only way you can do them only way any of us could do them in the whole beer tubing world is if you guys send them off so you're more than welcome to reach out to me at massivebeers.com or massivebeers at gmail.com go to the same place and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed a mystery beer of your, of your own hopefully you're enjoying some kind of other beer of your own that makes sense hope to see you next time cheers